everybody and welcome to my channel if you have never visited my channel before my name is Brittany I like to do grocery hauls product reviews um, and a few of the videos that I've done before is Amazon videos I've done product reviews on Timu DHgate if you're familiar with that site if not check out the video um, on my channel that is um, referring to DHgate um, I love doing Sam's Club shopping hauls, Walmart shopping hauls. So that is like a little overview of my channel. So today, um, what I'm going to be doing is a little Amazon like mini haul for you guys. I've saved a few of my packages because I like just kept pushing um, the purchase button and I just couldn't stop so I'm just like hey let me save these packages to like show everybody kind of what I got because I'm always kind of looking for like interesting things things to kind of make my life a little bit easier so without further ado let's get into a, a few of these packages um I wouldn't say it's like nothing like too like spectacular it's just like kind of like some regular household stuff that I ordered for myself and um I think it was like one thing for my daughter so let me start opening these packages you guys because I know I can ramble sometimes <laughs> okay so the first thing that I open here is these like facial compressed facial sponges so this is what they look like and I like the mossy colored ones they had all white ones but I feel like that was kind of boring I just wanted like some color so this is what they look like and so if you guys haven't heard of these facial sponges or heard like any influencers talk about them these facial sponges is like for like when you wash your face and if you're not one of those people that like to just splash water on your face and like get it all over your arms i know a lot of people have been um also getting like the like scrunchy it's, it, it kind of looks like scrunchies to me like the scrunchy sleeves to like prevent water from rolling down their arms i didn't get into getting that because i feel like i'm the type of person that i would lose that very easily so it's no point in me trying to get the sleeves so i feel like i got these um like little sponges and obviously they're like dehydrated right now but um when you get ready to use one you would pretty much just run water on it and just like a sponge once water hit it it's going to absorb the water and get bigger but basically these like little heart sponges it's like when you wash your face or just you can use this this sponge to wash your face too but in my my thought process is i would wash my face put the product on my face and then use the sponge to like wipe the product off of my face um or i feel like you can use these to like even get makeup off of your face too um and another influencer that i seen i actually got these because an the influencer I seen an influencer use them on her vlog so i'm like oh man i gotta get these so i ordered them off of amazon um i am going to link all of the products um in the description and the prices but just to give you a rough estimate of like not a rough estimate i can just kind of go to my amazon store right now and let you guys know how much i spent for these i believe it was let me not guess and just go to my orders because I don't want to tell you guys wrong. So, okay, I'm here at the sponges. So, yeah, I spent, these were six, $16.99 and it comes with a hundred of these in a pack though. So, although it was $16.99 and it probably don't look like it. But it's a hundred of these in this pack, a hundred sponges. So I feel like that was pretty good for, um, you know, kind of what you're getting. A hundred facial sponges in a pack for $16.99. And like I said, I will link that, um, all the things that I get in the description below. Alright, oh. 
open it up. The second thing I got here. Okay, so the second thing I got is this Hello, um, it's like fresh watermelon natural flavor. And this is fluoride free toothpaste um, and it's for kids, kids of all ages. I'm not sure if my camera is focusing so you guys can like see that. There we go. So yeah, um, I got this toothpaste for my two year old. And I got it just because she ran out of um, the other toothpaste that she was using before. The other toothpaste that she was using before, her dentist actually makes toothpaste, which I thought was really cool. And he sells it on Amazon. But for some reason, I don't know if I remember how much I spent for the toothpaste when I was at the dentist's office. Maybe I was just super impressed and I just spent the money. But for some reason, when I went on Amazon, this toothpaste, even though this toothpaste did last us like a really long time, you guys, I want to say it lasted us about a year and a half. It's a really big tube of toothpaste. It lasted a long time. And my daughter just ran out. I went on Amazon to order some more and the toothpaste was $26. And I was like, heck no, I'm not spending $26 for a kid's toothpaste. So I heard that this was still a really good brand. It's um like a natural um toothpaste for kids. So it's not like, you know, got a bunch of toxin toxins in it. And it says it's um, fluoride free and you know, all kids of all ages can use it. So, and then it got like on the side, it says it remo removes plaque, awesome. Tastes, well not, I don't know why I can't talk today you guys. Anywho, let me start over. It says it removes plaque, tastes awesome, and it polishes and brightens. And then it says it was never tested on animals, which is awesome. And it says no artificial sweeteners, no dyes, no sulfates. Um, so it sounds like a pretty safe toothpaste to me for my daughter to use. So that's why I got it. Plus the price was a perk too, cause I don't remember exactly the price, which is why I'm gonna go back and look at the order. But I know it was definitely cheaper than $26. So this toothpaste was $4.97 for this toothpaste that I got for my daughter. And I mean, looking at the box, I feel like it's a pretty decent size. I'm just gonna go ahead and open the box for you guys too, so you can see how big it is. So that's how big it is, and this is my hand, which I, I kind of have a small hand too, you guys, but this is about how big it is. I feel like it's about a standard, you know, size of a toothpaste bottle. Um, well, that's my phone case for my kids. I'm gonna just turn it around. This is my iPhone in my phone case. So it's about as big as, about as big as my iPhone. If you guys wanna compare to like how big it is. I feel like this is a pretty decent size for toothpaste, especially for one kid. I feel like she's gonna be able to use that for a while. So, I got, oh my God, guys, do not laugh at me, but I am definitely one of those people that do not like strangers coming to my door. Like, I don't care if you're selling whatever, if you are coming to tell me about my electric bill could be cheaper. I don't care. I don't like people knocking on my door. I am definitely, definitely that get off my lawn person. <laughs> I don't like people, strangers, knocking on my door that I don't know. You know, my, I'm a firm believer that when you are at home and you're off of work, whether you work or you stay at home, people really don't know like what you got going on in your household. You could have just had a newborn and you don't want people knocking on your door or ringing your doorbell. So why should you have to deal with that? Okay, so that's the reason why I got this, um, 
no soliciting sign you guys so it says no soliciting um no exceptions and then i feel like the glare is kind of like messing with you being able to see the sign so i'm going to turn that light back on in a minute just so you guys can see a little bit better but i feel like for right now because the sign is so shiny you can't re really see what it says but this says no soliciting no exceptions it says do not ring my do not ring bell or knock it says no politics no salesmen no estimates no tags no charity no magazines no religion no me no menus no excuses thank you okay so let me turn my light back on now that may sound very strict to you guys but like i said i feel like if you are at home and you're in peace and you're off of work or like i said if you don't work if you are just at home chilling and you're at peace why should you have to deal with people knocking it on your door you know uninvited pretty much like i didn't invite you to come on my um on my porch please just don't um i wish i would have saved this item for you guys too to show you in my um little amazon haul mini haul but i recently got a it wasn't a ring doorbell it's not the brand ring it's called chime like a chime doorbell um and i can link that below in the description too and i think it was like 42 dollars, way cheaper than the ring doorbell too but yeah so i got that too it's like a video doorbell where you can see people um sorry you guys my phone is like ringing and it sh shouldn't be why can't i get my phone to stop ringing sorry guys i'm convinced that like i'm turning to, into like one of those old people that don't know how to work my phone because it took me way too long to make my phone stop ringing just now so anywho <clears throat> back to my long rant of me not liking people just walking up on my porch but yeah you guys i got like this chime doorbell and you can like see anybody that walk on your porch anybody that walk past your house and it also have a microphone on it so like if you do have a delivery or somebody do walk on your porch if you don't want to open the door you can talk to them right through the doorbell um also this doorbell um it don't require you doing any wiring you don't have to like be an electrician you literally just have to mount the doorbell it has like a protection mount um that you can like put the doorbell inside of it so it's like anti-theft too this doorbell is great because the day that i got it i actually had somebody walk on my porch and it was a foreign exchange student and he said he wanted to talk to me about education but when i asked him like what about education he wanted to talk about he really couldn't tell me about like what it was that he wanted to talk about and he just kept insisting that i opened the door so i just told him like i'm sorry um i don't really want to talk about education if you can't really tell me more about what it is you know like anybody i feel like would have told this guy that too so he you know went off my porch and i didn't really see which direction he went after he left but you guys like safety is key these days because it's a lot of crazy stuff happening so it might seem like i'm being strict but i have an eight month old and i have a two year old and so i have to be i have to be that way <laughs> so um i um seen a influencer she got a no soliciting sign for her um porch as well her house and it said that if you have a no soliciting sign on your property by law they cannot come on your porch so that's about to be my new spiel i'm sorry but i have a no soliciting sign on my property and by law you cannot be on my porch please leave that is my spiel now <laughs> so yes you guys i ordered this off of amazon if you guys are also like me and you just don't like people coming on your porch yeah so um let me tell you how much i spent for it because it wasn't like a crazy 
price either. Okay, so this no soliciting sign was $8.99. And I will link this um, in the description below. So the next thing I got in this big old box. I, I know what this is because I, I purposefully ordered this because I have been needing it. I'm telling you all the cardboard that they use to like package this stuff is crazy. So, um, <clears throat> Just so you guys can see like what the box looked like. This is a pillow. Am I holding this up right? Yeah. So this is a pillow that I got. And it's supposed to be um, specifically made for um, people who have sleep apnea. And so if you know anybody that has sleep apnea, um, obviously they snore. But... You know, sleep apnea could be related to a number of issues. Like, it could be that your airway is getting blocked. Um, like, it could be something wrong in your nasal passage. You know, there's a number of issues as of to why people snore. Snoring is a sensitive topic for me because obviously I snore. And, you know, people like to get mad at people who snore. But I feel like, why would you get mad at somebody for snoring it's literally something that the person cannot control so you know granted that you know we probably interrupt our partner sleeping which i don't interrupt my partner sleeping by the way my husband can go to sleep when it's time for him to go to sleep he don't struggle at all in that area and once he sleep pretty much almost nothing wake him up so i got lucky in that department but um i am having trouble opening this hold on you guys i gotta get some scissors or i just i found a pen here i'm just gonna use it to like scrape across here on this label because they sealed it which I'm grateful for because I know like nobody else used it but kind of hard to get it open okay and more plastic more packaging man they got this pillow sealed real good okay so all right, first impression that I'm getting, it's a little bit flimsy. Like I thought it was gonna be a little bit more solid. Maybe I have to wait for the cushion to like absorb again because it's been like suctioned in the plastic, but this is what it looks like. And so looking at it right here, you see that dip right there in the middle? That's supposed to be like for the neck area. And so it's supposed to like help keep your head like a little bit more elevated when you're sleeping. And then it has like the little dips on the side here too. So if you have a sleep a CPAP machine, only people with sleep, sleep apnea probably know, that, know what that is or have spouse with sleep apnea. Those people know what a CPAP machine is. Basically, a CPAP machine is the um, it's a machine that you have to wear on your face, and it's you either have like nasal passages that you put in your nose, or you have like a mask that covers your nose and your mouth. I have one. It's really uncomfortable to wear. Um, it's really uncomfortable to wear, especially because there's not many pillows designed to support your CPAP machine. So this pillow is, that's why these little dips is there so that it's easier for you to um, have like your CPAP like tubes and 
don't know, it's kind of hard to explain if you don't have a CPAP machine. But basically, like I said, there's a mask that go on your face and then you have like tubes and like the tubes kind of get kind of jumbled up on your pillow and whatnot. So this pillow is specifically made for people with CPAP machines and sleep apnea. So it's supposed to help with your snoring and um, it's supposed to make it easier for you to wear your CPAP machine. And that is why I ordered it. I'm going to go put that on my bed right away because I am so ready to use it. It looks really comfortable and it feels like it has like a memory foam feel to it. Like you see like when I push it, it likes go, it goes right back. So it's like, it looks really nice. And it feels really nice too. I can't wait to use it. So for that, so yeah, this pillow is called a cervical memory foam pillow. Pillow, and it says for CPAP sleeper. Okay, so let me show you guys the picture because I feel like I didn't really do a good job at describing the pillow but that is pretty much how you use the pillow if you got like a CPAP machine and it's supposed to be for like if you wake up with like headaches which I do wake up with headaches a lot like stiff neck it's supposed to be for um, snoring for sh shoulder pain so yeah you guys i'm like super impressed with this pillow as you can see and this pillow it is kind of on the steeper side but like i said sleep apnea is not like um something that you kind of want to fool around with it can really disturb your sleep and have you you know really groggy in the morning and kind of feeling like not rested even though you slept all night so this pillow is 45 dollars it's $45.99 and I will link this pillow um, in the description, like I said, but Amazon do have right, right now a 25% coupon, as you can see. I don't know if my phone is focusing or not, but there is a 20, 25% off coupon um, on this item right now so it's going to be a little bit cheaper when you um, decide to order it or if you decide to order it but uh, I'm going to stop rambling about my CPAP uh, pillow right now that is all the items that I have in this little mini Amazon haul for you guys I hope you like the video make sure you like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video bye